and I hate to be alone because sometimes I just want to be like very strong. I like I don't have this, but I do. Like she's a dirty girl. She doesn't like you. If you hear the things she was saying about you, you can even not say she, she can never be your friend. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please endeavor to like this video. It helps boost my videos. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anywho, guys, there's been so many things happening in the BB Ninja house. And guys, today is not a day of peace. Neither is it a day of light nor love. Today has been a day of violence. But guys, it is diary section and these housemates diary section caught my attention. So guys, today during the diary section, Mercy cried. Yes, Mercy busted into tears while she was talking to Biggie. According to her, the fight she had with Alex and Prince really touched her. The reason is because she said these are the people that she thought she was really close to in the house after the eviction of fraud, obviously. So she thought like Alex is her person and Prince is her person. So seeing that fight, how it played out, guys, remember that it was Mercy that came after Alex why Alex wasn't even talking about her nor her team. Alex was just talking about the game in general, right? During that altercation, right, Prince came in between them and was like, Mercy, no, that's not what is happening. Um, Alex wasn't talking about you. Now she took that very hard, hard right? According to her, that Prince is, a, is somebody that is very close to her outside the house. Alex is somebody that is very close to her outside the house. That why would... Prince feel the need to, I mean, stand up to, to her or try to back up, try being on Alex's side. Instead, he would have just been neutral, knowing that these two people are, her, are his guys, right? So that really got to her. According to her, after the fight, she went upstairs and just started cooking. She was only cooking as a coping mechanism. So she cooked, she cleaned, and then she went to read her Bible. While she was reading her Bible, that was where she busted into tears. Guys, the reason why Mercy woke up today with a swollen face, we all saw how swollen her face was. She said she was in tears all night. That even the housemates in the in the VIP lounge did not even know that she was crying. That the only person that noticed, but she didn't really know, was, was Kim. Kim came and spoke to her. And at the end of the day, she was also complaining that in as much as she's going through a lot, that Vernita noticed and asked her, oh, what was happening? And she told Vernita, but ever since then, Vernita never cared to check up on her. So she busted into another tears, saying if Diane was in the house, Diane would have been in a better position. Diane would have taken care of her and all of that, that she just feels alone in the house. She has friends, but she doesn't. She do, She still feels alone. I'm like, okay, mercy. L last night you expected Alex to, you know, kiss your ass as usual, but Alex was like, nah, you're not going to do that. You, got, you are not going to use that card on me today. And she spoke up. And guys, it is. It was only fair for Mercy to be like, oh, okay. I was. I thought you guys were talking about the group instead of extending the matter we also have played out it was more like mercy saying a lot and and alex was just talking in general like you people shouldn't try me or there's no love and light if, if you guys are taking this love and light as a means of disrespecting me it's not going to work blah 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 blah, blah. love and light is not weakness we also alex shouting that yesterday but anywho, she had these tears crying during her diary section that she feels alone. I mean, like, the public, we are going to feel sorry for her, but she's not alone. Because she wants everybody to bow to her like she's mercy. She has the mercenaries behind her. Anywho, remember she had a conversation with Sissy concerning EK, where Sissy was telling Mercy every plan that EK had, and majority of EK's problem has been mercy 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 i think that also got to her knowing that i mean ek is playing a game against um her and also knowing that the housemates including her friends they don't even like the fact that the winners are in the house guys we all know that the housemates including sis, um, mercy's friends they don't like the fact that mercy is back in the house people like shayi vernita and ek don't like the fact that she is back in the house, but the major reason Ike has is that he wants to portray 
himself more he does the reason why he doesn't want to be in a ship the reason why he doesn't want to get involved with any form of alliance not like alliance like ship kind of situation right so he has been really vocal about being on his own game 100 he wants to portray himself if if any brand is coming to him after the game it has to be about him and him alone it will not be attached to anybody he also expressed how being attached to mercy during the pepper Dem season really he really lost a lot of money because everything was about um if we have to sign any deal you have to come with mercy and when they are signing mercy mercy gets all the money do you understand so this is in he has decided to be on his own. Maybe that conversation also got to Mercy, the reason why she broke down during the diary section. And also another conversation that got my attention was the conversation between Ike and Donny. Guys, Ike was peeling all the tea. Guys, remember that Ike said that this week is no mercy week. This week is going to be violent. So Ike is trying to hit Sissy's head and Donny's head on Mercy's head. He's just looking for how people will just be fighting left, right, center. So according to EK, EK was exposing every Mercy's little dirty chats about doing it to Donny. And guys, Tony wasn't surprised because initially she knew that Mercy wasn't her guy, but now that they are drawing closer they are drifting closer they are getting closer she is not i think she's a bit like angry that okay this is the girl that i'm dra drawing closer to guys it was just on my free previous video i was saying something about that and now it is happening like when ike was spilling all those things like she was so you know don't you don't you want to hear all the tea <laughs> don't you that was hungry was no longer hungry she just wanted to hear everything that the housemate they've been saying about her from um from ek according to ek ek was like that um mercy shei and vernita wanted ek to drift away from elebaye that's his plan towards elebaye and take the plant to doing he was like nah that when he looked at it he was like no 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 i have an alliance with doing but i don't have any alliance with buy so it is fair for me to to do what i'm doing to buy it to buy it than to doing that i have an alliance with so he told Doe all of this that even anytime he's trying to have a conversation with Doe that Sheyi, Vernita and Mercy will just look at him like, oh, you're still talking to this girl after everything we have said. So when Mercy noticed that, okay, I cannot break this to Ike is not listening, meaning the plan we had, Ike, I don't know where Ike's head is at. And also after what Ike did to Baye, right, drifted the both of them apart. And also hearing that Mercy and Kid Wire kissed. He still was okay trying to play him game by himself. But then Mercy came to meet him and said that, oh, who you need a ship on this game. You know, you need somebody that will help you boost your game. Who do you want to be in a ship with? And that was when he was like, oh, you now, who else? He said, no, no, be me or look for some other person. So at this point, he realizes that Mercy's game had changed. So he needed to pick somebody just so that she can be okay. So when he was thinking, he was like, oh, doing now, the way she looked at him, she just knew that she needed to pick some other person so that she can be okay. So that was when... He, Ikena said, CC. I mean, like, he's okay with speaking CC. In, in as much as that, at some point, he did not want her to be around CC again because they are trying to make CC be alone. But for Ike's game, they all knew that CC is going to boost Ike's game. So uh, she was okay and not okay. Like, she was just indifferent with the CC pick. And that was where she was like, okay, for me, I'm going to go with white money. I'm going to make white money feel like a king, blah, 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 blah. Although that's part of the story. We all know that part of the story. She, he never really disclosed that part of the story to Doye because I mean like Doye, when it comes to Ike and Doye, Ike is not telling Doye everything she wants to hear. She just, he's just telling what she needs to hear right now. Do you understand? For his game to for him to play his game better if that makes sense you know so moving on to what alex had to say about Pere, which was not anything because she has been saying that Pere bullies her Pere, Pere bullies her there's nothing that Pere did 
everything that she is holding on to about Pere has been Pere's behavior towards others. And that's just it. And I don't know why. I mean, sometimes it's good to inherit people's beef. She thinks that for a, somebody to have such plan, such evil plan about other people, meaning the person is not a good person, which makes sense also. But I just think that she should let go of what Pere, she feels Pere is or what Pere has done in the house and just move on. It's all a game. It's all a game at this point. Until somebody gets hurt though. But it's all a game. She needs to move past that because when Big Brother asked, asked um, her, has, how has Pere been bullying you? She couldn't even state a single thing that Pere has done to to her you know she couldn't stay she as she was saying something about Pere said my bum is too small now that i have lost so much weight in the house which is not which does not make sense to me that's not somebody bullying you that's not somebody being manipulative towards you you know that's the reason why i said that she's just holding grudges from what Pere has done to other housemates she just needs to let go and in as much as she would not want to give Pere that space and that time again you know for them to converse and get to know one another i just feel like she needs to move on past all of that and just be on her lane do what is best for herself and just stop talking about prayer at this point because prince is not taking prince has taken over Pere's place in her life you know so she's in a better place better place to be at peace better place to be happy better place to to find love you know rather than you know remembering everything that Pere did what Pere did i mean um, Baye herself has even forgotten about that. Today's fight, I think Baye was on, was on Pere's side in as much as she doesn't even talk to Pere. That's one thing about Baye that I love. Baye doesn't hold grudges, not because she doesn't talk to you then. If somebody's wrong, she will not say, oh, the person is right because she's not talking to you. That's why I feel like Baye is one person in that house that has the best personality. She doesn't take things, she takes things seriously, don't get me wrong. But she doesn't just use you wrong to just keep painting, painting you wrong, if that makes sense. Anywho, guys, this is it for this video. If you haven't subscribed, share, like. What are you waiting for? Hit on the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever I post on this channel. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.